I may have told I may have told this story. I started that twice, but Claire will edit that out um, before. But I think it's re worth retelling. Um, my mentor is a man named Martin Sage. I think he's living in Spain now. He has a website. Uh, he's an absolute genius, uh, a nutter, but a genius. And uh, I say that with the most profound amount of compliments I can. Uh, he altered how I live my life and, and let me see that life is not quite as serious as I think it is, or not nearly as serious. But, um, uh, boy, I kind of forgot where that was going. If I, this doesn't stop in just a second. Uh, oh, Martin. oh. Here we go. So, sorry. And it's written down here, too. This is little gray hairs, boy. Wait. Uh, anyway, we were, we were training a class. We were co-training a class in his facility in Texas when he had it there. And, and uh, we were talking Saturday morning to the group. And all of a sudden, this young man stood up, fit and intelligent, and uh, wanted the world to know his opinion. And he screamed at Martin, you don't walk your talk. And... I was expecting a fight. I was expecting, Mar and Martin said, "Oh, I never claimed to do that." <laughs> and you see this kid like, "What?" He said, "I've never. That's one thing I've never claimed to do." He said, "You know, if that's got you upset, that's your upset." He said, "I've never." And so we, when we were working, we would take long breaks, and and we would get away from the participants, which sometimes you got to, you know, all those minds going crazy around you. And we were out walking on the land, and seemingly out of the blue, Martin said, "Can you imagine?" if we could do that. That would be so neat. And I said, if we could do what? And he said, if we could walk our talk. He said, working in the field we work in, working in the potential, the human potential field, we know what people are capable of. And, and sometimes we can open up that window for them to create that reality for themselves. Right? But if we could do everything that we knew people were capable of and actually walk our talk, boy, that would be a absolutely phenomenal way to live life. It would be so cool. Well, it happened a few years later. I was working with uh, a chiropractor in Washington, D.C. area, and he had worked on one of the top guys, uh, yeah, Anthony Robbins. And he said, Anthony, oh, geez, maybe. Well, he said he gets out of, he's sluggish when he gets out of bed. And he said, you know, then he jumps on stage and said, you can wake up like me. And he said, he doesn't walk his talk. And he was really offended. I said, nobody does. Nobody can. I said, but if Anthony can get on stage and get people to live their lives differently, more magnificently, because he says it's possible, I said, that's not necessarily walking your talk, but it is. And, and Anthony impacts thousands and thousands of people. Whether he walks his talk or not is not my judgment. I don't think he can do it any more than I can do it. But he's impacted a whole bunch more people than I have, and I admire him for that. Walking your talk, well, good luck. You know, if you're a chiropractor and you're doing natural medicine and you get sick, that's not walking your talk, but that is life. Have fun. Bye.